Hey guys, what is up? Megan here and welcome back for another new moon ritual guide. This month we're going to be talking about the upcoming new moon in the fire sign of Aries. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. I post new and full moon ritual guides every month and let's charge right in. This new moon in Aries is going to be occurring April 1st at 2.24 a.m. Eastern Time. Aries is a fire sign and in my opinion is the most masculine of all the signs. It's ruled by the planet Mars, which is named after the Greek god of war. So naturally it rules action, passion, assertiveness, as well as physical activity and sports. Aries is a cardinal modality, which means it is the first sign beginning a new season. And as such, it is a sign of taking initiative and force and action. Aries is represented by the ram and is also the first sign of the zodiac and therefore the astrological year after the death and rebirth of Pisces. Aries is the sign of ego and the self. They might tend to act in more selfish ways and not in selfish like, oh, I'm gonna steal all your land, but selfish as in they will act impulsively without really considering the feelings of other people. That is what Aries is all about. Aries is all about taking action. If you want a go-getter, if you want someone who will actually execute a plan, it is an Aries. And they might execute that plan without enough forethought or planning, but they will get it done. Aries is very much a throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks, let's get it done kind of sign. They wanna do everything, they want to be in the limelight, and they want to be the best. Aries has a very aggressive and like I said, very masculine energy. Aries is the energy, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, of spring, of new beginnings, of taking action. Aries might have a stereotype of acting in a selfish way or being a little bit egotistical or overconfident. And as such, Aries rules the first house of self. This is who you are, how you present to people, your physical body. So this month, check to see what's in your first house and see if you can set any intentions towards that sign. For example, I have Sagittarius in my first house, so I might want to try something adventurous, planning a trip, going to a new place, that kind of thing. Thank you so much, Danielle, for your nice comment and letting me know you're an Aries moon. Aries moons tends to be very passionate and confident about their feelings. They're not the type to have a quick change of heart. They're very dedicated to what they love. Aries moons love adventure and might be kind of thrill seeking. So they need to be with someone that doesn't dull their shine and bring them down. Thank you so much, Christine, for letting me know that you're an Aries sun as well as Aries north node. That is a very interesting combination. The north and south nodes are known as the nodes of fate and your north node is the direction that you should be heading to fulfill your karmic path in this lifestyle. If you have Aries in your north node, you might be someone who is suppressing yourself and letting others share the spotlight. You might be playing best supporting character in other people's lives. And in order to achieve fulfillment, you need to accept that Aries energy be confident and know that you are inherently worthy. And sometimes maybe the spotlight should be on you. Some crystals for Aries are hematite, fire quartz, howlite, argonite, and carnelian. And some colors you can incorporate are red, black, and I see a little purple, but especially red for fiery Aries. Aries invites us to step into the spotlight. So this month for Glamour Magic, if you normally wear black, wear a color. If you normally do nude makeup, wear something bright, something attention grabbing. Do a bold red lip. Give yourself that look that turns heads when people walk by. Aries is a showman and he wants to be seen and you're gonna see him. So some rituals that you can do this Aries new moon is to do something involving candles, whether that be make a candle or light a candle. I'm actually going to make a guide on how to turn a store-bought candle into a manifestation candle. It's not out yet, but I will link it when it is. Anything involving candles or fire for this fiery new moon. I've harked on this before, but please be careful when you are working with fire. As Aries is a very action-oriented sign and new moons tend to be a great time to set any intentions or goals for the next month, this new moon is a great time to check in with those goals you set in Aquarius season or earlier in 2022 and see how you can take action on those goals. 
It's one thing to make the goal, but this Aries new moon, break down your goals into little manageable and actionable steps, and then take initiative and work on them throughout this season. That's what Aries is all about, taking action consistently. This new moon is also a great time to try something risky or to start something new. And I don't mean risky like go out and gamble your life savings. I mean something like signing up for a photography class that's $500 that you're interested in but are a little nervous what if nothing comes of it. Things like that. Things that you need to take charge and be confident and just, just do. You know that there are things you need to do in order to feel fulfilled and you can tell because you'll feel drawn to them. This season, use that Aries energy and try something a little bold, maybe a little bit of out of character. When the sun is in Aries, the energy can feel a little chaotic and intense. So this new moon, I recommend going out like going out to the club and dancing. Dance on an elevated surface, wear a hot outfit. That is so Aries. Get that energy moving, dance on a table, go to an after party. Aries is a very social sign. Aries is a leader. So this month, grab a big group of friends and hit the bar if you're in an area where COVID allows. Another thing to do this Aries new moon is to work towards a physical goal and that can be doing a seven day yoga challenge or doing two strength workouts a week. As Aries rules the first house of the self and the appearance as well as the timing of April being right before summer, this new moon is a really great time to work on those physical goals, especially coming after that full moon in Virgo when we're trying to release any bad habits. On the new moon, I always play a movie that has the energy I'm trying to invoke for the next month. So this month I'm going to be watching the movie 300. 300 is a movie about King Leonidas who leads an army against the Persians even though they're outnumbered and basically going into battle means certain death. This movie's got great visuals and if you remember when it came out everyone was all a tizzy about the physique of all the actors and I think this movie is a great one to introduce that Ares, God of War, Mars energy into your life. So as far as yoga is concerned Aries rules the solar plexus. So this month I recommend doing a vinyasa flow type class or video from YouTube. I'll link one below just to get that heat building. Aries is all about strength. So if you have access to a hot yoga class, I really recommend using one of those. Aries season has a lot of energy and we want to focus that energy to open up our body and make it as healthy as possible. So this month, check out that vinyasa class, do some down dogs, do some chaturangas, and build that mental and inner strength. As Aries rules the self and the ego, for meditation this month, I recommend doing an affirmation meditation. And you can find those on YouTube or you can make one yourself. List anywhere from three to 10 affirmations. Get into that meditative state, take a few deep breaths in and out, and focus on those affirmations one by one. Really go through each of them, say them to yourself, say them out loud if you can, and really feel them. Do that for about five to 10 minutes, and this will trick your body slowly but surely into believing those things. If you're always telling yourself, I'm so anxious, I'm so clumsy, I'm the worst, eventually you're going to believe that. So by doing these I am, I am, very strong, powerful statements, I am confident, this is going to teach your mind to think that way slowly but surely and it might feel a little ridiculous if you've never worked affirmations before but this month is really the perfect month to do though build that confidence and go into the summer as the best version of yourself some journaling questions are do i feel fulfilled on a soul level what helps you feel your soul's mission what achievements can i celebrate what motivates you to take steps on your life's path, even when it's unknown? How do you respond to pressure? What keeps you motivated when initial excitement fades? And some tarot questions are, what energy will help me take action? What will help me focus my energy? And what does the energy of my purpose feel like? This Aries season and Aries new moon are so exciting. I'm already feeling the energy, motivation, and new possibilities, so I hope you are too. Just try not to let that fire burn you. Try not to act too hot-headed or impulsive while also taking risks. And if you're someone who is shy like me, maybe try stepping into the spotlight a little more and not being so afraid of the shine.
This sign is very near and dear to my heart as I am a Libra and my partner is an Aries. So we are in opposition with each other. I think it's a pairing that works really well as Aries is ruled by Mars and Libra is ruled by Venus. They just go really well together into those kind of traditional masculine and feminine roles. I'll go more in depth about Libra and Aries in my upcoming Libra full moon video, which I'll post in about two weeks. If you'd like to be featured in my next video, let me know where Libra is in your chart in the comments below. I'm so excited for this full moon as my sun sign and midheaven are Libra, and I am very Libra if you know me in real life. Can't wait for that one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you.